वेलकम बैक एज एन ओ वन वन सेवन पैक्स रोमाना इज नाउ अवेलेबल ऑन पी सी प्लेटफॉर्म रिलीज जस्ट टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई बी टेस्टिंग इट ऑन माई रॉग एला दैट कम्स विद विंडोज इलेवन रेडियन सेवन एट जीरो एम जी पी यू बेस्ड ऑन आर टी एन ए थ्री आर्किटेक्चर इट्स अ सिटी बिल्डिंग आर टी एस गेम इन विच वी प्ले एज अ रोमन गवर्नर गवर्निंग आर प्रोवेंस शेपिंग इट्स फ्यूचर द गेम इवन सपोर्ट्स प्ले वर्सेज प्ले मल्टीप्ले मोड वी कैन कम्पीट अगेंस्ट थ्री अदर गवर्नर्स गेम्स कैंपेन कैन बी प्लेड इन को ऑप मोड with up to 3 other players i'll be testing the ubisoft connect version of the game with thanks to ubisoft for providing me with a review copy of the game we'll be showing you how to use optiskeller mod to inject xcss frame generation into the game the guide should also work with the steam version of the game the game does not support any frame generation technique it supports dlss xcss and fsr 3.1 upscalers on rog ally you can use xcss and fsr upscalers Temporal upscaling in this game produces some noticeable ghosting around the white circle, which is used to select the units and buildings in this game. I'll also show you how to use the intake model of FSR for upscaler. Just make sure Ubisoft Connect's in-game overlay is disabled. Click on the profile icon here. Click on Settings. Go to Interface Settings, and from here, uncheck the setting Enable in-game overlay for supported games. Also, uncheck Display FPS counter in-game. Ubisoft is giving away the PC version of Immortals Phoenix Rising for absolutely free. You can claim it from their website. I'll give its link in the description. The freebie offer expires on 2nd December 2025. I've already claimed it. Free. I'll be using the latest preview 5 version 0.9202511106 build of Optiscale mod. It's available on their Discord server. We'll give the link to their Discord in the description. Just click on the .7g link here. FSI SDK was leaked a couple of months ago. It included files corresponding to the intake model of FSI 4. These files could be used to compile an FSI DLL. Big thanks to Reddit user Athlete Dependent 926 for doing this and sharing the file with the community. Click on the Go File link here. From this page, just download AMD Fidelity FX Upscaler TX 12 dot DLL file by clicking on Download here. Now I'll install the mod. Open its archive file. Select the highlighted files. Optiscaler dot INI. Mods configuration file optiscaler dot dll mod loader file lib xcss underscore fg dot dll xcss frame generation file lib xcss dot dll xcss super resolution file for dx12 and Vulkan APIs lib xcll dot dll file xcss low latency mode file fake nv API dot ini fake nv API dot dll required for using xcll newcom nines mod not using it Vulkan version of Fidelity FX not required. Select all of the TX12 versions of Fidelity FX files. Right-click, copy. Open Ubisoft Connect client. Go to your library. Click on the three dots below the games box art. Go to Manage. Click on Properties. Click on the folder icon here. Now click on Open Folder. This will open the Games Installed directory. And just open Bin folder, Win64 folder. Paste the files here. Replace. Just change the name of optiskiller.dll file to dxgi.dll. Highlighting the files. Select the file. Right click. Rename. Type dxgi. Now open optiskiller.ini file. I won't be using optiskiller's dxgi spoofing feature to unlock the in-game DLSS subscaler setting. Scroll down until you find spoofing section. There it is. Under this section, look for a line name txt. Set to false. Click on File, Save, Close. Now I'll install FSR for Upscaler. Just copy its AMD Fidelity FX Upscaler TX12 dot DLL file that you downloaded from Reddit. Open the Games Install directory. Open Bin folder. Bin64 folder. Paste the file here. Right click, paste. Replace. That's it. Adrenaline settings for the game pre-sync, v-sync on. I have set the UMA buffer size to 4 GB. My ally is running on BIOS version 3.2. Install ally status official GPU driver that I had support for. Battlefield 6 using a 27 watts manual profile. All three power values set at 27 watts. 720p resolution. CPU boost disabled. Connected my FlyDG Vader 4 Pro controller to ally via Bluetooth mode. This game officially supports X input controller. Launch the game. I'll be using Adrenaline's performance only to show you the performance stats. Display mode set to windowed full screen required for using XCFG. We sync it's off. 
no FPS gap applied graphics yeah upscaler set to DLSS mod is working max quality basically the quality preset of DLSS transformer model does not matter on raw galaxy it's not the real DLSS upscaler texture quality it's set to medium lighting quality set to medium as well the rest of the setting set to low ray tracing off on raw galaxy it's recommended to set the UI scaling setting to large hard mode stressed game mode selection campaign players can also play co-op with friends to solve quests endless play with friends in co-op or in competitive mode I'll start the campaign play it in solo mode play as either Marcia or Marcus select Marcus set sail once the game loads up just open OptiScaler menu by pressing the insert keyboard key there's the menu I'll increase its size by clicking on the drop down bar next to menu UI scale set the value to 1.1 much better upscaler xcss version 2.0.2 input in game dlss upscaler txt spoofing off auto explore setting is off so i'll enable it under init flag section frame generation disable for the time being i'll just switch to fsr 4 upscaler click on the drop down bar next to change upscaler and select fsr 3.x as the option click on change upscaler again yeah in date model of fsr 4 is enabled now model setting default current model selected zero we cannot change it so leave it as it is i'll enable optiscaler's performance overlay expand fps overlay section check the setting fps overlay enable full plus graph scale 1.3 base resolution 853 by 480 pixels upscale to 720p save i now close yeah campaign started Move the white circle using the left stick and oh my god look at the ugly coasting produced around the white circle. Temporal upscaler related artifact. Even FSR and XCSS upscalers produce this coasting effect. Rotate the camera using the right stick. Zoom in and zoom out by moving the right stick in forward and backward direction. Move the camera and up or down direction by holding the R1 button and then moving the right stick in forward or backward direction basic controls FPS can be very variable ranging from 40 to 80 just like any other city building game the in game performance will degrade as the city grows ok it's the night time image quality is looking sharp open the radial menu by holding the right trigger here you go need to construct a sawmill select the woods here timber place the building near the forest here select sawmill alright yeah objective complete our trading post ok we need to connect the buildings to our trading post by constructing roads construction material infrastructure there's the road dirt road game is definitely playable on raw galley and it does not stutter that's a good thing <laughs> weird pattern buildings are connected now zoomed out view this is the map see 43 fps we are hitting the gpu bottleneck vram usage here it's around 2.6 gb it will be very variable depending on the size of your city objective pane can be accessed by pressing the left d-pad button see Use a street to connect the warehouse. Make a point wood cutter to your trading post. Oh, the other building, my bad. Then connect it. Select the dirt road. Connect it now. Like this. There you go. 
objective updated ok you need to build a residence building cnn pc at work select the building there it is i'll place the building along the road Four, five, six. Need more of these buildings. Ten of them. Need to connect them with the existing road network. You can see the road symbol above them. Need to provide food for the population. First, I'll construct the roads. Need a better camera angle. This one should work. Some of them are still not connected, it seems. You can fast forward the time using this menu, press the down debug button. Fast forward time by 3 times, see. Pause, play. Ok, I'll just show you how to enable XCFG now. Open up this video menu. Click on the drop down bar next to FG source and select OptiFG upscaler as the option. Click on the drop down bar next to FG output and select XCFG as the option. If you use FSR frame generation, game's interface will flicker very aggressively. Hardfix does not work in this game. With XCFG, this flickering effect will be considerably less aggressive. Say why not close. We start the game. Play. Once the game loads up, just open OptiScaler menu. Check the setting active under frame generation XCFG. This will enable XCSS frame gen, frame time graph. Yeah, it will become thick like this. Debug view, enable. If XCSS frame gen is working, you will see these purple side paths flickering. And you can check out the added amount of smoothness. Without frame generation, here we were getting an FPS within a range of 35 to 40. Now we are getting close to 70 FPS. Debug view disabled. Hotfix does not work so I haven't enabled it. This game does not support NVIDIA Reflex or XCSS low latency mode won't work. Resume the game. Check out the animation quality now. Yeah, it's looking much better than before when we had the game running without frame gen. You'll barely observe any flickering around the game's hard elements. UI text may exhibit some flickering. Okay, I'll complete my next objective. Provide food. Okay. Open retail menu. Not the residence building. Food porridge. Okay, I'll place the building here. Select the building. Oat field. Place it nearby. Construct another building. Fishing hut. Place it here. Zoom dot view. 60 to 70 FPS. It's a big map. What's this? Bandit Tavern. Ruin can be removed. Select it. UI text. Yeah. Minor flickering is present. See? When I spin the camera, nothing extreme. Barely any flickering is present when I move the camera at a normal pace like this. 
so this is the limitation of XSS frame generation in this game in this flickering effect will become more aggressive when you use FSR frame generation so I don't recommend it and this is the input delay barely any latency is present this is amazing so good results produced in this game on raw galley this is the day one performance so that's it for the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day